Hey everybody, this is going to be a short video about host swaps. And this one just happens to be a stick pin swap that I'm hosting. And it's such a perfect example of how you should mail your host swaps that I just had to do a video. And this is from um, Tracy. And Tracy, I got to tell you, uh, your packaging and everything was so 100% to the rules perfect. Now, you guys will be uh, surprised that uh, I don't get these. Even though it's clear in the directions of what to do, I still do not get packages for host swaps like this. So I thought maybe doing a video of an example of a perfect uh, package for a host swap, I would, you know, show you guys. So this was the original package that I got in the mail today. And when I opened it, there was this, which was folded up nice and neat with the uh, address going back to her and me ascending with postage. And it was nicely folded up. And like I said, you always want to fill it out and put your postage. You don't want to send loose postage. You don't want to do any of that. And this is all in the rules. That the postage has to be on the return envelope already self-addressed. So perfect job, Tracy. Now, the next thing that was in there was the stick pens. Uh, which she followed the rules to the T. She put them all in a Ziploc bag. But what's even more perfect is she added a piece of foam to protect them even more. Now with any swap, you want to make sure your packaging is just as important. Okay. Um, why take the time and the effort and the money to make something that by the time it gets to its destination, stuff's falling off, stuff's ripped off. And uh, it just doesn't make any sense. So please, if you have to spend that extra dollar for extra padding, do that for any swap. Okay, so this was so perfect. Then, you know, to uh, thank me for the hard work that I do in the craft hole, she sent me some paper, which, you know, is also maybe a host gift. And it's not required to do gifts or anything, but it is appreciated, and uh, I, I think it's a really awesome gesture because it's not easy work, <laughs> which uh, I've never ran a group before, and uh, I, I definitely found out really quick that it takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of work, but I do have two great admins right now, and then kind of liking admin and training that's doing an awesome job. So, uh, the members of the Craft Hole are awesome. I mean, you guys are the one that, that makes the group, really. Um, I'm just the uh, hard work behind the scenes with the admins. So, thank you, Tracy, for sending me such a perfect package that I could actually do a video on it. So, just I want to recap really quick. No loose postage. Always make sure you address the um, packaging that I'm or the host is mailing back to you. Always, always, always add postage and self-address it. And always, always in a stick pin swap, put it in a Ziploc bag. And in any packaging for any swap is important. So please don't, don't, you know, be chintzy or cheese out on packaging. Okay, awesome. And of course, the host gift or you know just to say hi you know we appreciate the work you do is always going to be appreciated always so thank you tracy thank you everybody in the craft hole and i hope if uh anybody re uh, sees the video that you'll come check us out it's on facebook and it's called the craft hole so definitely if you have a facebook account and you're an active crafter um and you do enjoy doing challenges and swaps we're the group for you because we are definitely an active group of women. And it's a very chilled, relaxed atmosphere. Yes, we do have some rules. But, you know, with anything, you have to have some rules. So, uh, definitely check us out. Bye.